good morning everyone so today we are going to uh, do the experiment on scattering matrix for e plane t and directional coupler so this is the microwave bench we are going to use it uh, for implementing this experiment so this this is gun diode this is our pin modulator this is our isolator this is attenuator frequency meter slotted section and detector mount so we are going to use this setup for finding our s matrix for our e plane t as well as directional coupler so this is gun power supply so in this dashboard you can see gun bias mode frequency and pin bias options and there is option mode select so before switching on this particular power supply so we need to keep pin bias to minimum and gun bias to minimum and we have to switch on the power supply and we need to select mode select to the internal and then so if you switch on this we are going to get display like this so right now it is in continuous view so we need to select it to internal mode so once it is selected and on the other side we are having a dso so till we are going to get the desired waveform on the dso dso so we are going to change the gun bias voltage on this particular power supply so now we can see we are slowly increasing the voltage and please make sure that the maximum voltage you can give is 9 volts so between 7 to 9 we are going to get the desired waveform on the dso so here we have given 7.85 volts is the gun bias voltage for that particular voltage we can observe a desired square waveform so here for that we need to measure v max and v min so for measuring the v max and v min so we need to change the slotted section then we are going to get direct values of v min and v max on the display so we have to note down the values of v max and v min so in this case in this case the minimum value we are getting is 440 millivolts 440 millivolts minimum sir minimum okay. and we need to change the slotted section then we are going to get the maximum value so we are slowly changing the slotted section then you can see the voltage value is 1.14 volts that is our v max so now we have v max and v min now this particular probe has to be connected to power meter or vswr meter so before connecting this probe so we need to set this slotted section position to the reset mode so after setting to reset mode so we have to connect this probe to the power meter we have to switch on the power meter and we have to measure the power value after finding v max v min on the cro so we have connected detector mount to power meter so we have to measure the power value here this is 20 30 30 1 10 20 30 okay 30 so this is 30 plus 0.5 that is 30.5 db is the power we are getting from this particular detector so now we have to connect our e plane t here and we need to measure what is the power output coming from the ports so for that we are removing the detector mount
सो दिस इज अवर ई प्लेन टी माइक्रोवेव कॉम्पोनेंट सो वी हैव कनेक्टेड अवर ई प्लेन टी लाइक दिस सो दिस इज अवर इनपुट पोर्ट दिस इज अवर मैचड पोर्ट दिस इज अवर आउटपुट पोर्ट फ्रॉम द आउटपुट पोर्ट वी आर मेजरिंग द पावर वैल्यूज सो हियर ऑन द पावर मीटर सो वी आर गेटिंग वैल्यू so this is 0 10 20 30 30 and the value we are getting here is 30 plus 2.5 32.5 db is the value we are getting so for getting the third port power so we need to connect matched load to this port and detector mount should be connected to here so we have to replace matched load and detector mount to the respective ports and important point is while doing the task so we should not keep our supply off so it should be always on so after connecting our setup like this so now we are measuring power from this particular port so this probe you are connected to the power meter and here you can see the reading as this is 30 now position and that is 4.5 34.5 db is the power value we are getting for the p3 so now we are having v min value 440 millivolts v max value 1.14 volts p1 30.5 db p2 32.5 db p3 34.5 db so by using these values so we need to verify the s matrix